This is actually going to be for an instant pot chicken carbonara, sort of like Olive Garden carbonara. You're going to need a little bit of flour, Parmesan cheese, butter, shrimp, oil, minced garlic, bacon bits, peas, chicken, heavy whip, whipping cream, chicken stock, and some kind of a pasta noodle. First thing you're going to want to do is take three to four chicken breasts, depending on the size, get them diced up and into a bowl. Once you have the chicken cut up, sprinkle the top with flour. You're probably going to want around a quarter of a cup. Then cover the bowl and shake it. Until it's covered like that. Cover it up and set it aside. Next thing you're going to do is turn your Instant Pot on simmer or saute. You're going to add three tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil. So once the butter melts and the oil is hot, then you add your garlic. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic to the Instant Pot. I like garlic so I don't care if it's heaping or not. Then you're going to add your flour covered chicken. Give it a good stir. And let it brown. So once the chicken is cooked and no longer pink, you're going to add one pound of whatever type of pasta that you want. I'm using this, you can use whatever. Then you're going to add two cups of chicken broth or stock. I'm not sure where the last clip shut off at, but the battery died. But you basically add one pound of pasta and two cups of chicken broth. Switch the Instant Pot over to pressure cook for six minutes. It'll take about 20 minutes or so for it to actually be done. Okay, so once the Instant Pot is done on its six minute time, go ahead and do the slow release, which means you shut it off and let it naturally release the pressure. I'll bring you back one after that's done. Okay, so once your time has passed, you can go ahead and release the pressure on your Instant Pot. 
They generally recommend you do a natural release for eight minutes. It's actually been about 10. Go ahead and stir up the mixture. I'll show you what it looks like right now. Then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to add six to eight slices of bacon. That comes out to about 12 to uh, 16 teaspoons of bacon bits. I'm using bacon bits. You're also going to add two cups of heavy whipping cream. It's pretty bad. I couldn't actually remember if 16 ounces was two cups or not, but it is. 16 ounces, two cups of heavy whipping cream. You're going to add cooked, one pound of cooked shrimp that's already been deveined and peeled. You're going to add one 15 ounce can of peas that have been drained or you can use frozen peas. You could also, Olive Garden technically don't put peas in theirs, they use red peppers. So you could substitute about 15 ounces of red peppers also. You're going to add about two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. I just eyeball it. And you're going to add somewhere around five ounces of Parmesan cheese. Give it another good stir. And then put your top back on your instant pot for another two minutes. On pressure cook, two minutes. And that will get uh, your cheese melted and everything to where it'll stir up and mix really good. I'll bring you back after that step. Okay, so once your last final two minute pressure cook is done, you actually want to leave the lid on, on low heat for 30 minutes. And I'll bring you back at that step. We'll stir it up, get it put into a bowl. You can see what it looks like. 
Okay, you can see I've had it on warm for about 49 minutes because I had to sit through a church meeting. And this is what we look like now. Get this stirred up and it should be perfect. actually see the cheese I'd say it's done yep and obviously serve it with some garlic toast 